No Way Home included five Spider-Man villains from different franchises and also included one additional in the post credit scene. But one thing about No Way Home is that it didn't include any Tom Holland villains in the lineup, but with newly revealed concept art that almost happened. From storyboard artist Phil Langon's Instagram, we do know that at some point in the film's production, Vulture would have been in the film, specifically during the Norman Osborn betrayal scene. Looking at this concept art, we can see that it takes place in a different location than the scene in the film. This looks to me like an auto shop, and included in the image are the characters Doc Ock, Sandman, Vulture, and another tie in webbing, which I'm assuming is Norman. Langon's comments on this post would confirm that this is Adrian Toomes and that this would have been the apartment scene with Langon captioning. The location for the Norman betrayal changed a few times, even after drawing it a few different ways I was still surprised by where it ended up, and some of the characters changed too. There were a lot more police in the first few passes which you can see here. Reading the comments, Langon would reply that this was an early version of the story and because of COVID shutdowns the production had more time to work out ideas, which explains why the character was never in the film. Including the vulture in this movie would have been an interesting choice given the final plot as the Spider-Man attempt to cure these villains, and vulture wouldn't be a good fit for that as he's just a guy with wings. But now that I've seen this concept art, I do wonder if including him in the final film would have made more sense with him showing up in Morbius. So let me know what you all think. What are your thoughts on this concept art and would you have liked to see Vulture in the final film? I'm sorry this isn't a longer video. I'm struggling with a cold right now and if I do sound weird, that's why. But one of my goals for the year was to stick to a consistent upload plan again, which I've been able to do so far. Also, again, shout out to my good friend Wayne Parker on Twitter for making me this great YouTube icon. I really appreciate having the new layout for the year and be sure to follow him. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, hit that like button, and I will see you guys again in my next video.